jumping on the porch like mom's not home. not home. Tell me why the best things feel so wrong. So Summer nights, love them how they take so long. So we and Jake have been here for two and a half months. We've obviously eaten in a lot of the different dining halls. Mm -hmm. um, what is your favorite dining hall other than TD, obviously? Because yeah. we all love TD. So I'd say oh, it was really hard. Um, honestly, it's between three. I really like the JE Dining Hall, the Jonathan Edwards College Dining Hall, the Berkeley Dining Hall, Berkeley's and nice. Morse. Um, I eat in Morse a lot because it's right next to the gym where the fencing room is. Um, Berkeley, I don't know. I really like Berkeley and JE just because the aesthetics of the of the of the dining halls are really nice. Yeah. Um, I spend most of my time eating in TD. TD. Yeah. Yeah. yeah mm -hmm. At least for me, I really like. I like Berkeley because they have the best pizza, and then Morse is always good. Uh, Morrison styles both. They may look really ugly, but they have really good food. I feel like Morse has better pizza than Berkeley. Uh, I don't know. Maybe. I've tried them both. I'm not completely sure. But uh, And then I eat, eat at uh, Davenport. A lot of the, our Magic Society meetings over the last couple weeks were in Davenport. So How is there. that? I haven't been in either the Davenport or Pearson dining halls yet. Pearson's all right. I like I like Davenport a lot. Davenport in general just gives it a, like a real homey vibe. Oh, cool. And they have a nice courtyard and everything. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah, and then I eat at Ben Franklin a lot too. They're nice. The new both the new colleges have nice dining halls, but they look like IKEA. They do. Yeah, they're <laughs> really new. Okay, favorite food at the dining hall. Okay, we all so, love our Yale food. Um, I don't know if I have like a single favorite food. Um, I really like it whenever they do like, um, like steak or pot roast because I'm a meat kind of guy. Yeah. But we know you're a meat kind of guy. <laughs> yeah, but my um, I I my one of my weaknesses is whenever they have like. The they have like this hot like brownie thing. Oh yeah. Yeah, and the I walnut. like take yeah walnut brownie, and it's like warm, so it's almost like fudge. And then I like take a bowl of that, and then I put like vanilla ice cream on top of it. And like I don't eat dessert a lot, but like whenever they have that, I eat it. Yeah, that's really good. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, I love any night when they have the uh, the mac and cheese. The mac and cheese is really good. Yeah. And then they don't have fries a lot. So anytime they have french fries, like I load up a full plate. <laughs> yeah. So obviously we like, as Yale students, we're constantly, you know, on that grind, studying, <laughs> getting ready for class, staying up till 5 a.m. writing papers. <laughs> What's your favorite study spot, Jake? Um, I spend a lot of time in the TD library because it's right next door and it's got like three floors of study space. Um, so there's like a couch where I can read because I like to be comfy when I read, but then there's also desks at which I can write. Um, but if I'm not in the TD library, I'm either in Bass, which is the underground library on cross campus, or in one of the reading rooms in the big library, which is Sterling. Cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, I'm one to just- You're in the room. Yeah, I'm in the room all the time. Mm -hmm. I like transfer between like sitting at my desk with my laptop or monitor, like. Uh, working on like computer science or like writing essays and then I'll like get tired head over to the bed power nap for 30 minutes and then get back to work mm -hmm. you know I like I like the room I don't know some people like to separate their like studying space and their uh, like home like rest space but I don't know I don't yeah. have a problem with that last question uh, so obviously Yale is in New Haven Connecticut um, we've had a little bit of a chance to explore the city so far mm -hmm. um, what do you think of New Haven? And more specifically, uh, how do you like, like what's your favorite restaurant here? So I um, I like New Haven. It's, it's definitely an interesting relationship because it's a really kind of, um, it's a pretty small city and it's a city that's like uh, gone through a lot of tough times. And so um, it's a really interesting relationship between Yale and the city. But I honestly, overall, I really like it. It feels like a place where there's a lot of community um, and people really like, uh, people really are, are from the city. They think of themselves as from New Haven. Um, I really like, there's this one place called House of Non, which is a really good Indian place. And then I went to, obviously went to Pepe's. I really like Pepe's. Yeah, I went to Pepe's too. Yeah. My parents were here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's good, really good pizza. Um, yeah, by the way, New Haven pizza is like legendary. It's a thing. You're like, if you ever come here, you have to try the pizza. What? Yeah. It's Pepe's. Pepe's, Sally's, and Modern. And Modern, yeah. Mm -hmm. Those are the big pizza places. Yeah. Um, 
I went to Modern. I didn't think it was as good as Pepe's. Yeah, I like Pepe's big mm -hmm. and sizes. All right, um, so Jake, now that we've kind of got through most of the questions, any like last pieces of advice you'd give to anyone that's like trying to go to um, one of these top schools or like any advice for high schoolers as they apply to college? Um, definitely, this is gonna sound a little bit. This is gonna sound a little bit cheesy, but do what you love. Like, this is this is easily what got me through high school and like what got me where I am today. Like. If you do the things that genuinely bring you enjoyment, they don't feel like work and they don't feel like hard and you'll write well about them. Um, you'll have a lot of interesting ideas about them. Um, so if you're writing like a college essay, write it about something you really, really want to write about. Don't make it write, don't make it about something that is a chore for you to write about. If you're looking to do extracurriculars, do extracurriculars that you love. Um, if you enjoy what you do, it's gonna show, and people are gonna be able to tell, and that's uh, that's the best thing, that's the best advice I can give. Some really good advice, Jake. Mm -hmm. All right, um, I guess that's about it. Cue the magic montage. <laughs>